If you do well today, we'll let you pick out a record and you can go home or something. How's oh yeah? That sound? Oh, yeah. that sounds great. Oh, All right. Thanks for that. Well, no let's, problem. Let's see how I do if I deserve one. Yeah, that's it. All right, brilliant. I spent a day working in a record shop to see if A, it was as fun as people said it would be, B, if it was as hard as people would say it would be, and C, just to get a glimpse into the behind the scenes of the runnings of a successful record shop. And let me tell you, it was nothing like I expected. I've been collecting records now for around six years. It all started with my granddad Dave, who you guys affectionately know as Papa Dave. His love for vinyl music has gone through generation to generation and has ended up on me. We regularly go hunting at shops and fairs on and off camera, so I thought, I wonder what it's like to be on the other side of that counter. It must be the best job in the world, right? Well, today, I'm gonna find that out. If you do go on to enjoy this video, please do leave a like and subscribe to the channel. We recently launched our brand new Patreon, which offers you guys a ton of really, really awesome perks. We're offering a rare monthly vinyl raffle, in real life record hunts with me and Popper Dave. You're gonna get exclusive content and live streams, as well as discount off of merch and events. And upon sign up, you get a signed Vinyl Hunters turntable slip map for completely free as you sign up. All that and more, go down below and click the link and have a look at the other perks. We're looking forward to seeing you as a patron soon. Now step one was to actually find the shop that would let me come and work there for a day and film it. After some pretty extensive searching, we got a reply from one record shop saying that they'd love to have me down for this experience, show me the ropes and let me loose in their record shop. That's where we're off to now. Hello. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. You're with your uh, first day working in a record shop? Yes, I am. I just noticed how slow that shutter was. It was like yeah. the slowest shutter in the it world. Is, it is, but you get to eventually. First up, we arrived at the shop to meet Denim, who was going to show us around the shop, give us an orientation, and set the schedule for the day. All right, so this is the shop. Basically, we've got records, obviously, as you would expect. I would. So we've got the kind of record store day leftovers here. Then we've got various artists. We've got a whole bunch of secondhand cheap kind of three for two there. Then secondhand, lots of artists through the years. And then all the kind of new records there, new releases up here, few more new releases there. We've got feature walls with different popular artists. We have band theme clocks, obviously Beatles, Taylor Swift. They're probably the two biggest sellers out of everything in the shop. Oh yeah, and then Beatles and Taylor Swift. Yep, Taylor Swift, absolutely huge. Fair Most enough. of them might not even ever get played. You know, there's a lot of kind of gimmicks with one of the releases of that. You've got four different versions with a different back cover. And then when okay. you put them on a wall, they make up a picture. I see. People are obsessive about all the different versions. She's done pretty well, definitely. This kind of cleaning products. There's a lot of kind of mystery around how to look after records. So we'll definitely go through a bit of that later. We'll get you on cleaning a secondhand record, but okay. most importantly, you've got to be dressed in the right gear. Oh, all right. You haven't got one of those on, so we're going to find you one. I think I'm more of a, oh, what colours we got? I'm got more of a black, I think. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 100%. What is you it? don't strike me as a small. small. I'm a medium, no. so we might have to go for. Yeah, okay. Not on there. <laughs> what we've got here, oh, long sleeved. Could rock a long sleeve. Yeah, I think you're. What have we got? Medium to what would you have? A large? Medium, I'd say. It's medium? Yeah. All right. Give that little. How's that? Back print. Lovely. Back print. Nice soft tea. Nice one. Or one of these, maybe. One of those? Yeah. Yeah. I don't think we've got one in black. Oh, unless we go hoodie. Hoodie could work. Here we go. Medium. medium. Yeah, All right. sure. Let's Try it that on. on then. How's it looking? There we good go, fit. that's great, yeah. that's a good fit, good that's fit. perfect. All right, ready you're for ready for a day. Yeah, ready day's go. work, all right. Okay, right, we're ready. First steps for the day, what we're gonna do, first thing we do is print off all of the orders. We need to see what's sold overnight. We've got to go across all our different platforms where we have things listed. We need to get all of those printed and then we're also gonna, we need to restock some stuff on shelves. Cleaning stuff's been going really well lately, so we need to get those out and I'll show you how to work the till, get you serving a few customers. Sounds fun. Yeah, it's not all hard work. We'll maybe get some stuff listed on the website and then if you do well today, 
we'll let you pick out a record and you can go home or something. How's oh yeah? That sound? Oh, yeah. that sounds great. Oh, All right. Thanks for that. Well, no problem. Let's see how I do if I deserve one. Yeah, that's it. All right, brilliant. Free record, I'm in. Wait till the end to see if I do well enough to get a record and if I do, what will they let me take home? Okay, so first the port call today is printing off the orders. We need to get those ready because they're going to have to be taken off the shelf and we'll get them mailed out quickly so somebody else doesn't buy them. So we've got the website orders here. So obviously I mentioned Taylor Swift earlier. We sold one. We have <laughs> Taylor Swift. We're looking for a copy of Lover. Have so a look. Is Taylor Swift going to be over it's there? It's going to be on the wall of Taylor, hopefully. All right, let's, let's find the wall of Taylor. All right, we're looking for Lover. Lover. Coloured vinyl. Let's have a look where we got it. Lover. Right there. Is yeah. it this one here? We're going to find Coloured out. Coloured vinyl. Yeah, it says, says coloured vinyl. That's going to be, that's the one. We're going to get Taylor wrapped up and ready to go. We've got our invoice. We'll just get our packing materials and that kind of thing and get the record ready to get sent out. All right. Cool. Okay, so we've sold a record. What we're going to do is take our little cloth out. Then you're not going to damage the other side of the record when you put it down to clean one side. So we're going to very carefully take the record out. That's covered in... Got some dust. We've got some kind of... Hair and Yeah, it's fluff. like a bit of card. You wouldn't be happy if you received a record like that. Record's in great shape, but that stuff on it needs to come off. So, what we're gonna take is another microfiber cloth. This is like a kind of glasses cleaning yeah. cloth. With that, we've got ready made up fluid. You're gonna start off with the right amount on there. So I'd go one, two, three sprays. That's perfect with this. And then when you actually come to cleaning the record, what you're looking at doing is following the groove of the record. So straight away, that's picked up that little bit that was stuck on there. If you don't want to get the label wet. Now, this would have sounded all right before, but you would have heard, you know, that grime that's been in there. So yeah, one side cleaned, that's looking a lot better. And Definitely. that was just, you know, under a minute's cleaning. So you should always, always do that. I would now take this off, give this a shake, and then flip that over, and you're going to clean the other side. Oh, okay. All right. Let's give it a go then. Yeah. So you say one spray, Two, two sprays, spray. three, three sprays, that's it. and kind of like that. Yeah, you fold it over, you don't want any edges on the cloth, they're all smooth anyway. Like that, so... Some microfibers will come with a little edge on that can damage a record or a label. I would always recommend removing the label and just ensuring that any edges can't damage a record. So how's that looking so far? That, that's looking great. You've just got to get that bit of fluid in there Important thing to make sure is that you don't, if you put too much on, you're gonna end up with a residue, you're gonna end up, and that'll gunk up your needle, and then you have to clean your needle, so. Fair enough. How's that looking? That's looking great, well Okay, done. so what do we do next to get this out? Next, we're gonna put it in a mailer. So we've got a mailer ready? Yeah, we've got a mailer here. We've got our clean record. Now, to prevent any damage during shipping, Personally, I always prefer a record to be sent outside of its sleeve because if you send that in its sleeve, you're going to get a seam split there or there or there. We'll put that in there like that. So that's going to arrive safely. What we always get checked on is the shake test. So when you package a record, if it shakes in its packaging, that's not going to help the record at all. Sure. It's going to move when it's shipping, which means it's going to be done. Um, so, with this mailer, we don't need stiffeners because these are really well built. There's bits here that will stop any corner damage during transit. So all we're doing is opening this up. Got an invoice, stick that in underneath there. That's got the person's details on. We have a shipping number here on the screen, which we'll put on the front in a minute. The important thing is, that's in there. It is the very important thing. I <laughs> yeah. don't want to just send this on its own. <laughs> no, that's in there though, but it's you want this to be absolutely tight down. Gonna take that strip off. That's now holding that down. We'll go here, flip this over now. Got another sealing strip here. This is gonna close to there. We will then get tape. We'll do a strip of tape around here, just so this can't get caught and then just tear straight off, which would let the record come out and it's not gonna be protected. The record itself isn't going anywhere. That's the shake test. Yeah, both ways. There's no movement in that at all. You give it a shake. Yeah, yeah. don't feel anything whatsoever. And that's because you're pulling that tight when it goes together. 
Next thing you do, you always want to put your details, sender details, so that if it gets lost, goes to the wrong place, something goes wrong, it's at least going to come back to you. But you're going to want, we have a, a franking machine at the, the other shop, so everything goes there to get franked. And then we have a collection that will turn up once a day. They'll take bags and bags of stuff. We use a few different mailing services depending on where in the world it has to go. Weigh the parcel, depending on what your weight is, depends on how much it costs to get shipped. But you're gonna have mail-in on there, you're gonna have an address on here, and you're also gonna have a fragile sticker. That is the most important <laughs> thing. The postman needs to know this is something they've got to look after and can't just be kind of bent and posted through a door box. This has to <laughs> arrive carefully. So yeah, people appreciate things being sent correctly. Nice there we one. go, one record ready to mail. We'll put that over here. Okay, so we've sold loads of cleaning stuff and this is looking a bit barren. It is a little bit, there's a couple of gaps. Yeah, <laughs> so I think we need to move maybe a few out the front, we'll restock these. As long as we've still got a couple there and people know we've got it for sale, we're good. What am I grabbing? So if you go in there, there should be a couple of vinyl cleaning kits. It's a bit tight. These ones? Yeah, if you get them. There's one. Brilliant. Grab the other. The two. Superb. That sticker needs a bit of a... There we go. All right. And then I think we're probably going to have one more in the other side. So Yes, the black one. Yeah, if you grab that. Oh, there we go. I'm getting old. That's it. Great eye. Oh, we the cloth and the spray and everything. If you bring oh, as that well, over. that as well. Silly me. All right. Is this like a demonstration to see what's yeah, inside? Yeah, so just so it shows what's in, you get a few different kits. So depending on what the person's after, they're either just going to want a spray and a cloth, or they might want to go a bit more in depth, get brush, stylus cleaner, cleaning record cleaning wipes, cleaning tissues, dust removing tissues. I don't know about that, to be honest, <laughs> but the, the kit with the you know velvet brush and everything, and the cloth's great. But yeah, you want all this to look nice, but anyone that comes in, you've just got to be able to give them the advice so that they get the right product for their needs. Oh, a Bowie bag. A Bowie I think bag. we can do a Bowie bag. There's yeah. a Bowie bag. Look at that. My sister's absolutely massive. Oh, there we go. All right. There will be more in that there. Bus. There's a Bowie bag. All right, so we're going to get the till system up here. I'm going to get you to put this through. Okay. I haven't shown you how to do it, but you're learning right now on the job. So. Okay. Bob one as well. Yeah, you've got Bob Marley one. Can I have a Bob one as well? Oh, of Bob Marley you can. one. Let's see. Yeah, if got you're going to dig one well. out of the box there. That's Hendrix. Bob Marley. It's a bit of a hunt here, isn't it? <laughs> Bob Marley. There we go. Okay, so what we're going to do with these? Okay. These tote bags. So if someone buys something to the value of five pounds or over, then they can get a tote bag or a slip mat for five pounds. Okay. So a lady here is gonna buy a tote bag at 6 99 okay. and she's gonna get a second one for a filer. Makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> so there would normally be an exact code up here somewhere, which would give us the name of this and it would come up on the till. But somebody's removed that. Ah, no, they haven't. It's here. Look at that. Okay, so right. I type in we want the code. Bob Marley tote bag, 44353. That's five, the one. Three. Yeah, press tab. That should come up. Oh, there there we go. go. So that's come up. We do the second one. Yeah, you go down to there. Which is David Bowie, 44348. Right, so then press tab again David and again. Bowie, and bag. you're going to go across to the price though and, and change that to five. five. And then tab again. I think that's all good, isn't it? Yeah, scroll down then. Total there, which is 11.99. That's going to be 11.99, please. You can ask her how she'll pay. Are you can pay cash or card. Card, okay. So he's changing that to card on there straight away. All right. So you want to put the amount in. 11.99. Come on then. One one nine nine. That's and it. And click confirm. Yep. And, and it's contactless. Just tap on the top. Brilliant. Okay. That's approved. Would you like a receipt? Okay, all right, that's all done for you. Super. Here we have the two tote bags. Take it you don't want a bag for your bags. No, I'll stick one inside the other one. All right. <laughs> all right, enjoy them, thank you. But have a good day. All right, so right. there you go. Customer of the day. You've served the customer. Okay. You did that with, well, you were leading there anyway. It was good. Thank you, appreciate that. 
If you haven't heard this, you have to. I've spotted something oh, yeah. in the shop. All right. And it's a certain really cool press, but the music is what matters here. Yep, yep. I might have a new band that you might very much like. Do you like rock music? I do, I love rock music. Okay, yeah. let's go. Let's have a look here. I think, hip, yeah, hip hop and rock were the two things I first got into. Oh, Atomic Rooster, right. Have you ever listened to this? I might have put that on once in the shop, but... Do you, you know, remember what it sounds like? No, okay. absolutely. It's, I reckon uh, we should crack this on, what do you think? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do it. Yeah, chuck it on. All right, over to the deck then. Over to Old the deck. Old Faithful. This is what seems to be a, an Asian press of some sort. It says, in my Singapore, in my Malaysia, in my Hong Kong. Right. So, who knows where it's from? I've got an English press, so... That's So how long have you been into Atomic Rooster for years? I did actually a, a little mini documentary a while back on the channel about Atomic Rooster and how I got into them. So if you want to know how I got into the band, check that out. You should right. click up there. And uh, I'll show you that in a little bit, but they're just a great band. And this, in my opinion, is their best album. I think this, this is up there with a lot of those early 70s rock albums. Right. Can't play it on the channel for, for copyright reasons, however, Got to show our gentleman here some Atomic Rooster. All right. Convert a new one. All right, so we've got a couple of records we need to get priced here. Take out something typical. Roxy Music. Yeah. Avalon. Great album. Comes through the shop a lot. What do you reckon? That sleeves seen better days, hasn't it? Yeah, I would say, but I would say it's not bad. I'd still yeah, say the, VG the Plus or covers, something like that. That's it, it's not not trash by any means. And then you've got like a velvety kind of pattern that's not marks on the sleeve. Got a little bit, tiny bit of corner damage there, but you know, like you say, VG Plus. That looks yeah. nice, it's a great sleeve. We gotta find out which version of this it is. We wanna find, ideally, a matrix number. Okay. Or, any kind of identifier on the record. So, we've got a little code there. Yeah. Your eyes are probably better than mine. EGHP50 right. 230216. So, oh there we go, straight away, that's come up. And then that's the album there. There's gonna be one or two versions of this, because that's been pressed, I don't know how many times over the yeah. years. Everyone should have a copy of it though. Right, it's gonna be a UK release. Boom, that takes us down to 13 editions already. And we know this isn't a cassette or a CD. It's an LP. Yeah, so there we go, that's down to four. Well, there's only one that came out anywhere oh, near that. original, and this one was a limited edition reissue, so it's probably going to be that, isn't it? Yeah, it is going to be that, yeah. So, yeah, it's definitely not the test pressing. Definitely not. So we'll click on that. So straight away, yeah, we're looking at that. That sort of window, we'll check what is for sale. We'll look at that. So we want to go UK and the best thing to do is take that under the best light we have. We do have one really good bulb <laughs> that you have to stand underneath. Okay. While this solution's drying, I'm going to flip it over. We'll clean the other side. If it's an expensive record, we'll be playing it. We'd be listening for any pops, any clicks, looking for any marks, anything that's going to affect this record playing perfectly. Okay, oh, where your... is this famous bulb? Well, right here above us. This is the best ah. light. Oh, okay. The camera right. might not be able to pick it up, but... Let's have a look. Oh, yeah, you can see a few marks now. I wouldn't... S okay, yeah, there's some, yeah. some scratches, but... I'd all... still need to clean that more in there. It's not awful. Looks like surface scratches. I yeah, yeah. I think it'd be anything that would sound anything drastic. No, that's it. There's You've got... one here I can see. There's, yeah. There's nothing deep though at all. No. So that probably isn't going to affect playback. That'll be, that'll be decent. Where would you grade that in terms of the scale? Where do I you think? I would call it VG plus. Yep. I'd say you're spot on with that. So if we put it in our box over there, I'd put a 10 pound price on that, but it's going to be in three for two as well. So that works out to be a really good deal for someone. Yeah. You know, if they're coming in looking at complete Roxy music, that's a great album. You know, they'll find that mixed in with a load of other things. They'll get a good deal on that. So yeah, we'll stick a 10 pound sticker on that. Okay. There we go. That's ready to get sleeved and stickered. So we'll put that there. Try and find okay. something, something half that's, decent. That's oh, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Self-titled from, I believe, 1983, yeah? There you oh, go. Correct. Spot okay. on. So. First, I'm gonna have a look at the sleeve, and I say it's it's a very nice sleeve. There's a couple of creases, but I I would say excellent. Personally, yeah, that is in, that's a really good condition like sleeve. Maybe one. Yeah, there's a tiny little creases. tiny little fold in that, but 
you know. Yeah, I wouldn't quite call it near mint because... No, it's got to be yeah. perfect in every way to, yeah. So let's have a look here. You want to get it looking its best. So that we can have a look. Yeah. Properly. How do you swivel and then get this bit as well? You can just stand in a different place. You don't have to do it all in one. I see. Okay. That's it. That you're just following right. the grooves of the record. You're trying yeah. to get any dirt, dust, anything like that out of those grooves. Then flip it. Yep. That's it. Three sprays. There you go. Beautifully done. Now this is the bit I'm looking forward to, going to the favourite bulb. Okay, let's have a look. Go on there. See what that's like. This is the bulb. Okay, so I can see there's quite a lot of surface scratches actually. So you wouldn't have spotted those over there? No. I would say it's basically just surface scratches. There's quite a few of them. Yeah. So I'd personally put that at VG+. Plus. Yeah. You can only really see them under really bright light and I don't think they're going to affect playback at all. What do you think? No, I don't think they're going to be an issue at all, but we can always check it if we're wondering. Do you think that's a correct grading? Yeah, I would say you're, you're spot on with your grading. I've been doing a lot of buying, so I have to be. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> As yeah. everyone knows. Okay, so if I have a look here, so we do LP and then perhaps Holland. Yeah. I know that it could also be a European press as well, but we'll see what comes up under That's it. Holland anyway. Okay, so there's four four different ones it could be. Let's get them all What open. are the identifiers there? They've all got the same catalogue number. Yeah, there's going to be a difference, so they'll be in the this notes. This one says no made in Holland on label, but this one does, so it's not going to be Yeah, it's not, the notes, not that version. That one says it's no barcode and no made in Holland. This one has got a barcode. So we know it's not so that. So we know it's not that. With barcode and re on rear cover made in Holland on labels, it says it's this one. All right. So I'm guessing it's going to be this one here. That looks like it to me. Yeah, personally. there you go. You check the, uh, the, the photos. photos. Yeah. So the, the window is, the lowest is 335, the highest is 1590. And the right. median's about five. So do we have a look at what, what's sold? Yeah, what, see, what's selling at the see moment? historically what it's sold for. And then you'd also check currently what it's for sale for as well. Currently in the UK, there's a lot of, there's a, a near mint VG plus. There's uh, there's quite a few VG plus o, like overalls. Yeah. And they range from five to 10 pounds. All right. So I personally will probably put eight. Maybe try it at eight. If yeah. it's going to go in the three for two section, then it yeah. brings it down a little bit. Does that sound about reasonable? Yeah, absolutely. That sounds, that's perfect. You know, you want people to uh, get a good deal for the records that they're buying and the shop to do well as well. So. Eight pounds. Yeah. That's my first record priced. Superb. Sweet. <laughs>so we're closing in a minute yep that's the day done how do you feel it went do you enjoy it yeah i mean i'd love to work in a record shop again to be honest like i'm kind of hoping you guys will ask me back for a proper couple of days but yeah i don't know just interacting with customers and yeah, playing well. music and selling stuff i don't know and just fight you know just looking being around records all day and how do you, you think i did you did really well you got your your pricings right um, you were good in terms of cleaning the record you handle them all carefully you were really good with the customers in terms of interacting i didn't have to give you very much i showed you the till once and then bang you were straight on it did everything exactly right and then helped me hunt out the records earlier so yeah i think you've done really well today and as we agreed you can go through and find yourself a record. So Do I deserve it today? I'd say so. You definitely, you've earned a record oh, without doubt. What kind of thing? I don't know. I haven't really, I've had a little bit of a flick through, but yeah. I don't know. Should we have a flick through and see? Yeah, let's see what we can find. What we got, we've got cream and atomic, that'd be amazing. Yeah, but yeah. I, I don't know, actually, I'm, I'm only really after the UK, a lot of the stuff, to be honest. So that, yeah, that was a good, good was album, cool. I'll definitely. Yeah. I'll get a copy, not that copy. What, would, copy. what would you recommend? Because like, I know you, I've, I've recommended you a couple things today. Well, what would you recommend? Personally, my big pick, I know you like your kind of, your proggy stuff. I didn't know whether you would have this album. I actually don't have that one. I have a couple of the other ones. So for me, this was the Camel album. That's the one that has always kind of just grabbed me. I've had a few others hoping they were going to be up to this, and they never quite were. For me, this is timeless. I've listened to this so many times, and yeah, never get bored of it. I think you'll love this album. I think you've sold me on it. All right, there we go then. Thank you. All right, no worries. Play it, enjoy it. I'll let you know how it sounds. I'm looking forward to listening to this. Thank you. All right, pleasure. All right. I'm going to get my stuff together and 
get going, I reckon. Okay, thanks very much. It's been a super fun day. Right, bag. All right, mate, thank you so much. I'll no see worries. you probably very soon. Yep, all right, safe all right. travels. Catch up thank with you, you soon. Bye. See ya. <laughs> So that was the day I spent working in a record shop, the first ever day I've worked in a record shop. Now the shop said they'd love to have me down for another day, so when I am doing another day, I'll let you guys know the date so you can come down and say hello and dig for records together. If you did enjoy this video, please do drop a like and subscribe and share it with your friends if you feel like they're gonna enjoy it too. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.